the things that you'll need to be able to do in the exam is create a box plot from a given set of sample data. <clears throat> so this is an example of that. So we have 10 different data evaluations, could be the age of people, it could be how long people's feet are or something like this, you know, it could be data relating to anything. <clears throat> so to create the five number summary, which is basically our um, summary statistics that revolve around the median, the first thing that I do is order the data either from highest to lowest or lowest to highest. So <clears throat> grab this data and I say, okay, three is the smallest value, and then 11, and then I've got two lots of 15, And then, what's next, 17.5, 17.6, coming to 22, 24, 29, and 31. <clears throat> so that's my 10 data arranged from um, lowest to highest. And so um, from this, I have a few of my um, numbers in the five number summary. So the five number summary is the minimum, which in this case is three. And the maximum, which in this case we see is this 31 over here. And the rest of the data comes from, sorry, the rest of the summary statistics comes from breaking up the data into quartiles. <clears throat> so the median is the value which splits the data in half. So since I've got 10 evaluations, the median will be um, five on each side. So I've got five, so the median falls actually just here. See, I've got five to the left, five data to the right. <clears throat> um, and so since I've got an even number of numbers, I actually take the average of these two here. If I only had nine evaluations, so if I didn't have this 31 for instance, then this 17.5 would be the actual median because then I'd have four data to the left of it, four data to the right of it. But since I've got 10 data, my median becomes the average of 17.5 um, and 17.6. So my median is actually uh, 17.55 <clears throat> like this so just the average of these two values <clears throat> I then need to calculate my quartiles my Q1 and my Q3 so whereas the median breaks the data in half the quartiles break it you know in half again so that we get four um, four equal quarters quadrants so we have five data here, breaking that in half actually gives me, since five is an odd number, it gives me this 15. So that's my value for Q1. And then on this side, the middle data is, middle datum, is 24. <clears throat> so this is my five number summary. Um, from this, I have a few calculations that I can do. So for instance, I get the range here, which is the maximum minus the minimum, 31 minus 3 equals 28. And I get my interquartile range as well, which is 24 minus 15, Q3 minus Q1. <clears throat> and so these give me some indication of the spread of my data whereas the median value gives me an idea of the centre of my data because 50% is below it, 50% is above it. But then what I want to be able to do is turn this into a visual summary and so for that I do a box plot. So for a box plot I can either have them vertical or horizontal but if I have them horizontal what I first need is an axis, so excuse the line. So I need to be able to go from pretty much from zero up to you know, 31 or whatnot. So I'm going to mark it zero, and then maybe I'll have 10 here, 20 here, 30 here. So I'll put in five tick marks as well. 
<clears throat> so I basically just put in a line for each of these values. So my minimum is 3, so that comes to about here. <clears throat> my Q1 is 15, so that's just above here. My median, which can also be considered as the Q2 value, is 17.55, so that's you know, pretty much right in the middle here. <clears throat> my Q3 is 24. And then finally, I've got my maximum, which is 31, so just sitting above this 30 mark here. <clears throat> now, from Q1 to Q3, I enclose in a little box like this. And then I just have lines going from the center of this out to here. <clears throat> and that's my box plot. So this box plot, each section represents 25% of the data. So when a section is larger, that means the data is spread over more values. When it's tighter together, that means we've got more data densely close, close in. So <clears throat> the fact that this is the smallest um, quartile here corresponds with the fact that we have these, you know, a lot of this data, this 15, 15, 17.5 um, wrapped up in there. And so this is your box plot. You could also do, um, if we had another set of data with, you know, that related to a different variable, so perhaps this is boys and we had girls data as well, we could put that box plot alongside here and it would enable us to do a visual comparison. Okay, have fun.